In preparation for selecting your courses for next school year, we need to review the graduation requirements for all classes beginning with the class of 2018 and beyond. Teachers, please distribute the graduation requirements handout. The graduation requirement handout is a Xerox copy of the inside of the actual graduation requirements brochure. Please refer to the table on the left that outlines the various requirements for graduation. To the right of the table is an explanation of the various certificates a student is able to obtain beyond the basic high school diploma. We will now go over all different parts separately. Referring to the table on the left, English is the first category. A student must first earn four total credits which must specifically include English Language Arts 1, English Language Arts 2, and half a credit in Expository Writing course. This expository writing requirement can be fulfilled with a credit in English 3 or 4, AP English, and or Early College English 100. The remaining 1.5 credits will be earned throughout your 11th and 12th grade English classes for a total of four. Assuming you pass your English class every year, you should earn all four credits. If you fail a course, you will need to retake that course, which means doubling up in the next or subsequent years. Social Studies also requires four credits, with specific credits earned in World History 1, one credit, US History, one credit, Modern History of Hawaii, half a credit, and Participation in Democracy, half a credit. Once again, failure to earn a Social Studies credit in any one year will result in taking two Social Studies courses in the next year or so. Only three credits are required for math, two of which must be Algebra 1 and Geometry. If you are planning to attend college, you should take a fourth year of math, as a placement test will be given upon entry into college. Science requires only three credits as well, with one being in biology. Once again, if you are planning to attend college, it is strongly recommended that you take a fourth science course in your senior year. In this next category, you must earn two credits in any of the one following categories, world language, fine arts, or career and technical education, otherwise known as CTE. In world language, two credits in a single world language must be earned. Credits must be taken in a sequence with consecutive course numbers in the study of one language. For example, earning credits in Spanish 1 and Spanish 2, not Spanish 1 and Japanese 1. In fine arts, two credits must be earned in the following discipline. Visual arts, like photography or ceramics, music, like band or guitar, drama or dance. Credits do not need to be in a single discipline. In CTE, two credits need to be in a single career pathway program of study sequence, like public and human service pathway core and culinary 1. JROTC is fulfilled with two years of JROTC. One credit in PE is obtained with a half credit in PEP 1005 or 9th grade PE and a half credit in basic PE elective like PEP 1010 or 10th grade PE, swimming, physical fitness, etc. Weight training and team sports count as electives. They do not meet the PE graduation requirement. Help today and tomorrow taken in your 10th grade year fulfills the half credit in health. Although students begin working under PTPs in the 9th grade, half a credit is earned in the first semester of your senior year. A senior failing to turn his or her PTP will not be awarded a high school diploma and not participate in the graduation ceremony. This year, the class of 2019 must turn in their PTPs at the end of third quarter. Upon doing this, as seniors, you will be able to concentrate on college and scholarship applications and the FAFSA, which opens on October 1st. Lastly, six credits must be earned in elective courses. Elective courses are all courses not listed above. Every year, a student is required to enroll in seven classes. Assuming one passes all of the classes every year after four years, a student will earn 28 credits. Remember, 24 credits are the minimum requirements for graduation. In order to be promoted to the next grade, a 9th grader must earn a minimum of 5 credits, a 10th grader 11 credits, and an 11th grader 17 credits. Beyond the basic high school diploma, students who have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above have the option of earning three different honor recognition certificates, academic honors, CTE honors, or STEM honors. Be sure to read the requirements specific to each certificate.